chord. Now notice I'm making it with the, uh, the pinky, third finger, and the fourth finger. And the reason I'm doing that is so it's easier to get to the next chords. Now you see what I'm doing is I'm actually leaving these two strings, top two strings on the guitar, the first and second string open. And then bringing all the whole shape up by two frets, making it an F sharp or F sharp 11, and then doing the same thing with the B and B add 4 or B add 11, whatever you want to call it. So up here at the seventh fret, the chord is uh, the song is actually straight up kind of eighth notes. You know, there's there's some more to it, but we're just gonna do it this way. One and two and three. It's, it's B for two measures, F sharp for two measures, E for two measures, then back to B for two measures. Chorus is actually similar chord shapes, but what you're going to do is you're actually going to take um, this B and we're going to modify it a little bit. Now, uh, we're going to actually play the song a little bit differently now. I'm going to actually move this finger here and move it where my pinky is and just kind of get my pinky out of the way. Now notice I have this A string open, but I'm going to just lay my finger over just a tiny bit and it's nice and muted. And so there's our B at four. the chorus. What I'm doing here is if you remember that B that we made by just kind of moving the pinky into or moving my third finger to where the pinky was. So seventh fret, second finger is going to be at the eighth fret on the third string. And my third finger is on the ninth fret on the fourth string. Open, top two strings and muted A string. Now for the chorus, I'm just going to actually take this note right here and move it down to the A string and let it, let it ring open. So it's the same same chord as that B chord, just with the note that's on the uh, first string. I mean on the sixth string, move to the fifth string. Put it open the sixth string. A. Sounds very nice. The way I like to do it to kind of mix it up a little bit so it sounds nicer is to actually go. And notice what I'm doing is I'm actually playing this right here, which is actually an E5 chord. I've just got my pinky drop down, so it's also on the seventh fret. And now I have my uh, finger at the eighth fret. Cool. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now notice I changed earlier. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Or one. times here, five times here. Now the next chord is similar. I'm going to actually go all the way down where I was here at the fifth fret. If I imagine doing this at the second fret, but I actually put a finger here on the fourth fret instead, it'll be a little bit easier. Now fourth fret, muted note, fourth fret, fourth fret, open, open. is the next chord is on the second fret here and I'll actually lift my pinky up like I did in the other chord. So one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five. Now, also just gonna remind you, it's more important to get that first chord on time. You'll notice that when I'm saying the number five, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, one, three, four, five, one, two. So I'm just kind of like, you know, 
know, doing whatever I can do and get my hand off the guitar and get it back to the same spot. Now notice that we've kind of done things. We're going to see that that chord will actually stay there. And that finger will actually stay on that string the whole time. Third finger. Now, the way the song begins and where the um, the transition between the verse to the chorus is, is sort of as you saw me do. It's sort of going back and forth with this pinky. Um, jumping ahead and then of course the chorus kind of ends on a nice big E. Um, if you have any questions obviously you can uh, just you know call me but uh, hopefully it'll help. Mm -hmm.